Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Node-RED SQL or SQL database spreadsheet connection. Now detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. The link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So we will now look at the connection to our SQL database using a spreadsheet application. Previously, we used RedNode to communicate Modbus, RTCP, and RTU to a Click PLC and a solo temperature controller, and the information was collected from the computer, was then put into a SQLite SQL database. And spreadsheets like Excel are great for analysis of the data, and we were connecting to our SQLite da uh, SQL database with W. Uh, PS spreadsheets. This will be accomplished by using the ODBC driver as a translator between the database and the spreadsheet, which is done with all uh, different types of spreadsheets like Excel. So let's get started. So up on my screen here, what you'll see is that we have our previous uh, Modbus communication that we were actually um, reading our present value and set value from our solo uh, process temperature controller using Modbus RTU. And we wrote the present value and set value to the click PLC using Modbus TCP. We then um, displayed that information onto our um, dashboard user interface. And then what we did was we um, uh, read the set value from the click and determining if the switch was either on or off, we wrote the set value back into the solo uh, temperature controller. And what we did was out, out of certain frequency, we injected our function that grabbed the parameters that we're using, and namely the present value, set value, and switch, along with the date and time, and we put that into our database here, which was a SQL database. And here is our actual temperature controller here. So you can see here, I can control the um, the set value, there it is there, and we can do it this way and turn it down. And we can have, instead of uh, local control, we can have remote control, and we can do that. So that is our basic program that's functioning right now, and we're collecting that data um, into our SQL database. So now what we have to do is um, uh, use ODBC and Open uh, Database Connectivity or ODBC is a standard application programming interface or an API for accessing databases. And the ODBC driver translates any application like spreadsheets and the database management system or uh, DBMS. And it is an interface created by Microsoft. So let's, uh, the first thing we do is we will and draw uh, install the SQLite ODBC driver. So let me just call that up. And here we go. So we go down this page and you will see here that we have several different versions of this. We basically have a 32-bit resolute or version and we have a 64-bit. Since uh, SQLite we're, we're using 32, we will use this SQLite ODBC, this first one here. So we download that file and we start our installation which looks like this. So we just hit next and we agree to the terms and then it will install in this directory. This directory is part of our sub program. So we actually want D in this case here on my computer. And then the drivers that we want are actually the first one. So the second one is actually the experimental ones. We don't want those ones. We want proven um, technology right now. So then we hit install. And so those drivers are now installed. And then we just hit finish. So now we're all set for our drivers. Next, what we'll do is um, call up our ODBC and set the uh, settings in that ODBC. So the first, what we have to do is call up our ODBC uh, data source administrator on our computer. And to do that, just hit the, uh, in the start menu, uh, type in ODBC and execute the 32-bit. And when you do, 
you'll get something looking like this. So once we have this, uh, this is our ODBC drivers themselves, and we can hit add. And we hit add, we will go down and select our SQLite 3 ODBC driver, which is the database that we had. We'll hit finish there. Now we can give it a name. We're going to call this ACC Automation ODBC. And our database, we can hit browse and we can actually select our ACC automation for our database. There we go. This is the one that we had. And we'll just hit OK. You'll notice now our database is listed under our ODBC uh, data source. So that's that's what it is, 30 bit to or 32 bit platform, a SQLite 3 ODBC driver. So that is um, all set now. So we'll just hit OK. Now what we'll do is once we have that, we're going to use WPS Office. And WPS Office or Writer Presentation Spreadsheets is a free Office Suite package that is compatible with Microsoft Office. So I'm using this so that I can show you that all of this information is free of charge if you know where to look for it. So we download that and what we can do is start our uh, spreadsheet. And our spreadsheet looks is right here. So on our spreadsheet, the first thing we'll do, oh, and by the way, we did have our database since, let's go back to, first of all, our, there we go, there's our node red. It's still running in the background. And let's just uh, reduce that a little bit. There we go. So that's still running and we're still uh, controlling. And then let's look at our spreadsheet now. And we'll just do a new blank spreadsheet. Again, looking very familiar, uh, like an Excel spreadsheet. And what we'll do is go over to data, because that's what we want. And we want to um, import data. There we go. And it just basically says the operation connects to an external data source. Um, yes, that's okay. Say okay. And now it selects where do we want this data to come from? In our case here, we want the ODBC. And you can see now, here's our communication parameters here that we did. There's our data sources that we had, which is ACC Automation ODBC. Let's hit okay. Then what we can hit is uh, next. And now we can select from our table name solo, which we created previously, all of the fields here, we're gonna select them all. And we'll just hit next. And now we can uh, do some data filtering and sorting. So let's go by ID and we'll sort by descending order. So we'll get the latest on top in our, in our spreadsheet. And let's, um, input query. Let's append to this already and let's put in um, limit 20. So we're going to bring only 20 records in. Hit next and it actually displays what our selection will look like and that looks pretty good. So we'll just hit finish and it will specify where do you want to put this. We'll say the first uh, cell here and we'll hit OK. And there is our information. And that's the latest information from our solo. Now, like we said before, databases are ideal for analysis. So what we can do is um, call up or highlight our information. And what we'll do is go back and we will insert a chart. We'll do a line chart there we go. and that looks all right well okay for now and we will just hit uh, there we go so now this is our line chart representing our data that's coming in right now so if we go back to data you can see if we want to hit refresh 
our values refresh and our chart will refresh. So let's, uh, let's just move this over just a little bit more out of the way here. There we go. And what we'll do is actually call up our hardware here. And there's our hardware. And as we had before, this is our click uh, plus, and this is our PLC that we're pulling from. And our potentiometer is hooked up to our nine volt battery going into our first analog input. That's controlling our set value if we want to control it by the click. And then we have our solo process temperature controller. Now we are communicating Wi-Fi, which is ethernet back to uh, Modbus um, TCP on the click. And on the solo, we're using our USB to 45 converter and it's converting um, into um, RS-45, which then communicates to our solo to get the parameters in and out. So um, what we will do now is uh, take a look and we will um, take our probe and we will just put a little more information on our on our probe you can see that the number is going up set that down and what we'll do is refresh our data and you can see our data is now coming in at a higher level and refresh again so the data is being refreshed every uh, five seconds so there you go there so it's always coming in let's go back to our um, we can go back to our solo here and let's go local control and we can start changing our set point and now it's about 17 go up a little more so 17.1 And what we'll do now is go back to our spreadsheet. Move that aside. And on our spreadsheet, we can hit refresh. And again, our numbers are now reflected into there automatically. So very easy to communicate back to a spreadsheet to actually do further analysis on the data that we've been collecting. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free eBooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.